Hello, and welcome once again to the Darth Grumpy Dad Twitch stream. Alright, so... This build I'm going to be featuring in this is the... Inez Ramiet Speed Farm build. Oops. All right, so on this build, you're going to have the Innis Reach, and you're going to use your Angelic Crucible on it, and you're going to want to get the, the Wave 100 Fist Sanctified Power. You're going to want to equip the Fists of Thunder Gloves. You're going to want to equip the Mantle of Upside Down Sinners, both from the Ramniots build. You're going to want your Innis Vast Expanse. You're going to want the Sky Mask. The Mask of Searing Sky from the Ramnia build. <coughs> oh, I have not rolled crit on that. Traveler's Pledge. Compass Rose again. You're going to want the Bindings of the Lesser Gods. You're going to want crit hit chance on it. And 20% cold skill damage. Your other ring, you're going to want Convention of Elements. Now, since this is a farming build, I've got the Boon of the Hoarder in. The gem in the necklace is the Bane of the Trapped. And your other gem you're going to need is Enforcer. Increase the damage of your pets at rank 81 to almost 40%, and your pets take 90% less damage. And you're going to want the Innis Sandals. You're going to want the Innis Pants and the Innis Belt. That'll give you the six piece on your Innis set. Two piece, increase the passive effect of your Mystic Ally and the base passive effects of your Mantra by 100%. Four piece bonus, gain the best effect of all the Mantras all the time. You gain 5% damage reduction for each Mystic Ally you have out. Your Mystic Allies no longer take damage. Six piece bonus. Gain the passive abil abilities of all five of your rune mystic allies all the time at all times. So if you want, you could just not pick a specific rune on your mystic allies and it would just rotate through all the different allies. But for this build, you're gonna want to choose the water allies. Okay. Attacking enemies creates your chosen mystic ally that lasts 15 seconds, up to 10 Mystic Allies. The damage of your Mystic Allies is increased 900%. That used to be like 5,000, and they nerfed it. They nerfed it way back to 900%. But this is still a very, very doable T16 farming build. It's, it's very good for that still, right? 900% for each of your Mystic Allies you have out. So it's 900 times 10, so it's 9,000% damage altogether. Um, your skills. On A, you're going to want Blinding Flash, Self-Reflection. Right, so you can blind guys, and that works with your Relentless Assault Passive, 20% more damage, to Blind, Frozen, or Stunned. Right? Right Trigger, you're going to want Wave the Hundred Fist, Assimilation. I mean, you could do Wind Force Flurry, which, uh, Every third hit generates a wave of wind that deals 500% weapon damage as cold to enemies directly ahead of you. Because this is a cold damage build. Um, I, I'm so, I, I'll try that. I usually use the, the assimilate. You know, when that turns your damage into cold. I usually use assimilate. Every third hit increases your damage by 5% for 5 seconds. And you can get that stacked up there pretty good. But I don't think it's going to matter with the way the hundred fist sanctify power so we'll we'll try this once right and then on your x button you want epiphany desert trout because you're going to be holding a and x down all the time why is your cyclone strike implosion increase the distance enemies will be pull, pulled towards you to 34 yards right pull up 16 enemies within 24 hours yards towards you, followed by a furious blast of energy that deals 
261% weapon damage as holy. B button again, dashing strike. And I usually use Quicksilver, so I get three of those. Um, I think Blinding Speed is what they suggest you use on this. Right, gave 40% increased chance to dodge for four seconds. Dashing Strike damage turns into cold, so the build is around cold. If you're trying to push, that's probably what you're going to want. But I like Blinding Speed, so I can get three of those if I need them. And your RB is going to be your Mystic Allies, Water Allies. Um, passives, Guardian's Path. While dual wielding... Oh, uh, so this... You're not going to get the dodge chance, but because you're using a single weapon while using a two-handed weapon, all spirit generation is increased by 15%. So you're just getting more, more spirit out of the build. Um, Beacon of Etar, reduce all cooldowns by 20%. Again, determination, each enemy within 12 yards increases your damage by 4% up to 20%. And I think... If you wanted, you could probably use Momentum, right? And get that 20% all the time, which is probably a better idea. So we'll change it to that. Right? Relentless Assault, the 20% damage for Blind and Frozen. In the cube for this build, you want Measure Schmidt's Reaver. Reduce the re remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second when you slay an enemy. That's going to give you way more uptime on your Mystic Ally and your epiphany and also you, you know the blind but all right in the armor slot you want the crudest boots mystic allies summon two mystic allies that fight by your side they deal 200 percent increased damage and are able to attack with their active forms longer so they stay in their water form longer which is where they do almost all their damage and then in the accessory slide, you want the Ring of Royal Grandeur, as with most builds. Paragon, my Paragons. Uh, I guess start, start with no Paragon in this. All right, now the way this build works is you're going to go into the Rift. First thing you're going to do is start punching. Because as soon as you hit a few guys, your Mystic Ally is going to multiply. You're going to get a whole bunch of them out there. And then as soon as you get a whole bunch of them out there, you're going to hit your RB. And then just hold it down so, so it procs again. As soon as the cooldown is done, it fires again. And, and hopefully you can keep them in Water Ally form. Right? And then while you're doing that, you're going to hold down A. So the Blinding Flash fires every time it comes around. And X. So you can keep your epiphany up, so you can dash to the next guy while you're punching. Now let's let that these cooldowns come back around. Now, if you want to try and push with this build, you can. All you'd have to do is uh, take out the boot of the hoarder and put a bane of the stricken in. Do -do -do. You can see all the mantras going off down at the bottom. You come convention of elements changing. Going around. Standing still, I'm getting all that extra defense. Or, or I mean attack. Start moving, it starts going down, and it starts building your defense. From your Traveler's Pledge. And you can see those two going up and down now at the bottom. Alright, so... Gonna pop this here. Hop in here, you're gonna walk in. Find your first crew of people, start punching them, see all your allies come out, then you pop those allies, and you hold ANX down and start going. And you just dash strike to the next group. And really you can just hold down. 
AX and RB and walk with this build, right? And it'll wipe everything out. And once in a while, you hit your punches, get more allies out. See, as soon as they roll over. But really... You hold all four of those buttons down at a time. Can't really see how devastating this is in this closed area. And then I'm just rocking my thumb over to hit dashing strike to keep moving. Oh. oh. Wish I had a better rift, a big open area. Maybe I'll get a nice big open area after this. See, every time your Mystic Allies pop, they give you a boost of spirit also. So, I keep forgetting to hit my Cyclone Strike too whenever I get into a crowd I can't kill. Hit that Cyclone Strike. And your guys do a bunch more damage. This build moves so fast you actually have to go back to pick stuff up. That's what I'm saying. It's like for, for doing speed bounties, right? Or on one of these where you're in a larger area. And usually you're going to want to have Avarice Band on your follower. Oh, it came around. What a bunch of... Okay... Another crappy area for this build. There we go. Ground effects got me. And your Mystic Allies do a pretty good job of keeping everything frozen so you get that extra 20% damage. So if you wanted, you could probably... Yeah. On your A button, instead of having Blinding Flash, you could probably do Breath of Heaven. Right? Uh, Divine Energy, or you could have Serenity. That'd be a good one, too, for increased survivability. I'm just kind of used to always having blinding flash on a monk build, right?
So even without any Paragon in, it's it's T16 worthy. Okay, let's put the Paragon in now. Let's just do 50 of each. So you need that for the Wave of Light LOD bill. I already got a couple of those. Earlier I had several uh, Rabid Strikes drop. And I salvaged them all. And I need one to put the Wave of Light build together. And it has a drop. Like, like okay, I'm going to build that build. So now it won't give me one. I've got all my other pieces except that. So, skills. We'll go with Serenity. And... Ascension, right? That'll give us more survivability. You are enveloped in a protective shield that absorbs all incoming damage for three seconds and grants immunity to all control pairing effects. And then increase the duration of serenity to four seconds. Right? The ability of this cooldown does not start, or the cooldown of this ability doesn't start until after the effect expires. So it's 16 seconds, so you get it for 4 seconds with Ascension, then a 16 second cooldown. And bringing the Obsidian Zodiac wouldn't really help you on this, because the only really real spender, it, it doesn't count your Mystic Allies as a spender, would be your Cyclone Strike, right? But you have to be hitting it all the time to get that cooldown effect from it. That's why I use Measure Schmidt's Reaver. Now, and like I said, this is more like doing speed mount after you've got plenty of all your... So you don't have to stop and pick stuff up. Right? You just go. Right? I, I have the boot and the hoarder in just for what gold I can get out of it. Like if you're doing a bounty... Let's say uh, this one. Oops. I do want them gems, so I'm going to head out across this bridge. that as soon as you hit that cyclone strike too. <sighs> Got a gobby here somewhere. Oh, there he is if I can point towards them. There we go. Blood Shard Goblin.
and your epiphany when that's active it just takes you right to the next guys you don't even have to hit dash and strike you just, you just go to it Oh, I already found the guy. Ooh, ooh, goblin. I think that was a menagerie. So, if I didn't already have all the pets, that that's a pet goblin. So, see that that bounty's already done. I didn't even notice I killed the guy. I went by so fast. Nope, I went in the wrong area. What the heck is this? I missed the death collar somewhere. Where is this fool? Gotta be here somewhere. some reason he is not showing up on the map. Oh, I think I know what it is. This is one up here in the middle, maybe? Oh, there he is. So it's pretty it's pretty devastating build for doing T sixteen. Now let's see what skills that I change, kept that. Gold damage shroud explosion. Yeah, I guess I'm spoiled on Quicksilver. All right, so. Let's take that Convo of Elements out. Or I mean that Boot of the Hoarder out. Put it in here. Grab that Bane of the Stricken. And we'll pop a GR with this just to Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep the paragon where it's at. Uh, we'll do a ninety. See how how he does in here. Ah.
Ground effects took me out. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, I tried to teleport out, but it wouldn't let me. Come on, strike. So in terms of power compared to the other builds I was running, I'm going to rank my Legacy Dreams up a little. That'll be, I'll need that for the Wave of Light build. It's more powerful than the POJ, it's more powerful than the Inna's Ramnet. It's a little bit clunkier because, you, you know, you, you have to get off some of your buttons to hit the, right? When it starts teleporting around all on its own, it's hard to tell where you're going or who you're punching. But it's a pretty devastating build. See if I got my rabid strike yet. No, 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 no. There's the spare cards I couldn't get forever earlier. And it doesn't have, I don't think it has as good a crit as the pair I have.
Yeah, yeah, hold on. And I can upgrade a couple. Crust fist. There's my rabid strike I've been looking for. Yes. So I guess uh, I'll be putting together the, uh, you know, that there. Ooh, that's a nice one, Kim Lau. I'll be putting together the LOD Wave of Light build and probably doing another one of these shortly. But that is the Inna Ramiet Speed Farm build. It's three pieces of the Ramiet, five pieces of Inna's, sanctified uh, in his reach, so that it takes up both weapon slots. Fist of Thunder, my crappy primal mantle of upside down center. In his vest of expanse, mask of searing sky, traveler's pledge, bindings of the lesser gods, compass rose, convention of elements, in his sandals. In his temperance and in its in his flavor or favor, Measure Smith's Reaver, Crudus Boots, Ring of Royal Grandeur, Serenity, Way of the Hundred Fifth, Windforce Flurry. I mean, you could do assimilation and and build up damage for the punches on that. Also, I guess uh, Epiphany Desert Shroud. Cyclone Strike Implosion, Dashing Strike Quicksilver, and Mystic Ally Water Ally. Passives Momentum, Relentless Assault, Beacon of Etar, and Guardian's Path. I hope you found this informative. If you have, please follow me here at Twitch. And then jump on over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel, also called Darth Grumpy Dad, on YouTube. Uh, ring the bell, get some notifications so you know when I post a new video. All subscriptions, all shares, all likes are very much appreciated, even though I'm really just kind of doing this to help people learn. Uh, the more likes and shares I get, the more people can learn from this. And as you can tell, this is obviously an Xbox tutorials. And I don't see, I see a lot of guys doing the ones for computers on PC, the PC builds, but not a lot of the, uh, the console builds. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good evening.